everybody and welcome back to The Upper Room. This week we're talking about science and religion. I've had a few friends tell me, oh, you know, I'm not very religious, you know, I believe more in science. Well, that's really good, I tell them. Uh, I believe in the scientific method as well. But the problem with that is, is that uh, the scientific method measures things based off of our world, based off of the natural realm. So when you try to measure things with the scientific method or try to discover things with the scientific method, you're only going to find what things are in the natural realm. Well, God is supernatural. So God is outside of this natural realm. Therefore, God cannot be measured inside of this realm because he's supernatural. He's not limited to the laws of our natural realm. But even though God isn't constrained to this natural realm, and is supernatural doesn't make religious people like science less. In fact, religious people support scientific discovery. Many of our greatest scientific pioneers were religious. Some of the greatest scientific discoveries in history were made by devout religious people. Here are just a few. Nicholas Copernicus, chemist, mathematician, doctor, astronomer, and he was also a priest. He was instrumental in establishing the concept of a heliocentric solar system in which the sun, rather than the earth, is the center of our solar system. Gregory Mendel, Austrian monk, who discovered the basic principles of heredity through experiments in his garden. Mendel's observations became the foundation of modern genetics and the study of heredity. He is widely considered a pioneer in the field of genetics. Again, Austrian monk. Nicholas Steno was the first to realize that Earth's crust contains a chronological history of geological events and that the history may be deciphered by careful study of the strata and fossils. He rejected the idea that mountains grow like trees, proposing instead that they are formed by alterations of the Earth's crust. Hampered by religious intolerance dogma, Steno was constrained to place all of geologic history within a 6,000 year span. Bishop Nicholas Steno is considered one of the fathers of modern geology. George Lemaitre. George Lemaitre discovered the Big Bang. He is a Catholic priest. In January of 1933, the Belgian mathematician and Catholic priest George Lemaitre traveled with Albert Einstein to California for a series of seminars. After the Belgian detailed his Big Bang Theory, Einstein stood up and applauded and said this was the most beautiful and satisfactory explanation of creation to which I have ever listened. This is exactly why I wanted to make this video. Many people feel as if they either have to be religious or be scientific and honestly to be religious is to believe in science so believing in God is a rational thing to do some of the greatest minds who have ever discovered some of the most scientific things in our history were religious in fact very religious it is because of them that we understand how our universe works how our world works but just because we cannot discover God in our realm doesn't mean that he doesn't exist. It is because God exists outside of our natural realm and is supernatural that we can believe that he truly does exist. Thank you again from the Upper Room. I'm Jared. I can't wait to see you again next week. Please subscribe below and pick up a copy of my book. Thanks.